5th of August 2024. It's 7.30. What? Yeah. We are heading for an uh, anchor spot near the Isle Thurreau. I woke up um, approximately an hour ago. I went into the engine room, checked everything over there, and then I thought, you better start early, then you can enjoy the day. Weather expectations for today, hardly any wind, one, two, three, four, five knots. And it is a, a promising day, at least according to the apps. And later on in this week, there will be a hard wind. So, since I am heading for Gothenburg, we have some mileage to go. And um, I would say, uh, how about it? Ready? Come on then, let's go. Oh, by the way, I think it was somewhere in 2023 that social media presented me pictures of boaters who cruised in the Gothenburg archipelago in Sweden. And when I saw that, I was in awe. So in summer of 2024, I decided to go and check out those surroundings myself. This video is a part of a series in which I share my trip to this Gothenburg archipelago and back to the Netherlands. And the series shows you my trip through uh, Germany, Denmark, and Sweden. And every day that I cruised during this trip results in at least one video. So chances are that I am physically already back in the Netherlands whilst I still share the new horizons and surroundings of this archipelago. But hey, that is why a video like this is called entertainment. So let me know in the comments what you think about it. Channel 16, yes. So, anchor is secured. What's the phrase then again? Off we go. Coffee time! But 
since we are at the Ostsee, the East Sea, no coffee for me, only lemonade or water with a taste, strawberry. So, here we go. What is the phrase again? Pause the video, grab something to drink or to eat, and then let's enjoy this joyful moment together. Cheers. Let me give you an update. We are at sea. Water, 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 water. A lot of water for the next coming 25 nautical miles and the speed over ground is 6.3 nautical miles with a heading of 24 degrees. Cookie time! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in Denmark! Then we have uh, Boyd Canal. It is very shallow on that side. And then on port side we have the village Marstal. And of course I pronounce it with a Dutch accent, Marstal. Because in Dutch we always say the A is an A. So in English it should be Merstel. How is it pronounced in Danish? Meerstel. Anyhow, this is how to uh, fill footage. There is some current. Ah, because I arrived with a speed over ground of 6.4 and now we have a 5.5. It's all about perspective. I saw from a distance something on the horizon which looked as a barge with two piles. Because in the Netherlands we do have these barges with two piles. So the moment that they are on a spot they will lower these piles instead of anchoring and they are in the ground so that the boat will stick on one spot. <laughs> and from my perspective, I thought, oh, they have a barge with two spud piles over here. Two aisles with uh, light boys on it. <laughs> Less than a meter depth on the starboard side. One would not say that. No, that is because there is water and 1.6 on that side. Yeah, and if you are a local and you are familiar with the depth over here, then you can uh, drop anchor. We have to do a 90 degree bend within um, 300 meters. In rallycross, one should use their handbrake for a 90 degrees. Zap! Since, ah yeah, I can use two engines. And then I, I, I arrive, and then I continue. <laughs> Shall we try that? No. Ah, no. Okay, we try. Are we the only ones? Yes, it seems. There's no one behind us. Pass me on the north, the boy says. That is what we do now. So, wait a while, wait a while, wait a while. And we break? Yes, oh nice. And we continue. That was a nice one. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> silly. How long have you been at, at sea? Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, change camera for the ferry so that you have an idea about the ferry. 
perhaps he will try the same thing. Uh, so this is the ferry from Marstal to Rutkeping. Yes, it is all pronounced with my accent. I know, I know, I know. I hope that this sailboat has seen me. Yeah. The moment that I mentioned it, she turned her head. Let's have a look. Uh, the next waypoint is two miles that way and it has a bearing of 85 degrees hey again i have seen a couple of yeah what's the word brown vision we call it in uh, in, in dutch small dolphins um, and they are shy so the only thing you see is whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, somewhere over the ocean for 84 degrees yeah auto yoohoo it might be that i am incorrect which is impossible of course but it almost seems as if somebody has stolen this South Cardinal. Ah, no, they have not. It is at 80 degrees. I have a compass in my binocular. And it is two miles away, so approximately four kilometers. 3.6, and of course I had it already a little bit towards it. So 3.5 point something. When I've had my catch cutter so we are talking about 1997 then I bought my catch cutter and I also bought this binocular it has a compass in it so it is at that time we are I think that I had one of the first GPS systems only giving me the numbers where you are at that mo moment chart plotters never heard of um, so I all and I had a radio beacon so I had a, a headset and then I pointed on the shore somewhere on the horizon where I think where I thought it was shore and then you could hear a beep and because of the 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 the, 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 the tone of the beep and the numbers escalating beep 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 beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. that way you you knew where the beacon was and you saw it on the chart and by the radio beacon you know okay this is my this is my bearing towards my radio beacon so it must be that I am on this spot and then I also used wait 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 I still <laughs> Grandpa is talking. <laughs> Once upon a time, <laughs> I still have these. So you put these on your chart, on your on your paper chart, and then um, with the with the, the the compass scale, you could you could change it this way, and you could change the compass uh, scale. So you could exactly point out exactly. You could exactly point out where you were on the paper chart. And I was heading from France to England and from England to the Channel Islands. Well, there were moments that you only saw water, 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 water for a couple of hours like we had just today. So yeah, that is the reason why I have this binocular with a compass for many, 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 many years already. And, and I have lived in a house and I still had this close to my heart yeah this was a very very useful tool during that trip and uh, yeah you can see that I still use it I am a proud user the bearing was 080 
some moments later. Yes. That's the benefit of uh, video. Eh? I cut the footage whilst I have been uh, cruising for one hour already. And um, for you it's just a couple of seconds. Yes. Let's see, that is a boy on the south, that one is on the east, yeah, and then we have green and red over there, and then in front of us there is this red boy, and over there there's the east boy, so I have to pick green, cardinal east, Okay, and this um, Danish neighbor, instead of going behind me, he pushes his boat just to be sure that he can go in front of me. Let's have a look on wind finder. I am heading for uh, this spot, Thuro. Um, I had plans to moor over there in this bay and that is because I saw on the Navalia app that it was beautiful. If I face tomorrow uh, with the wind then it will become 15 knots on this enormous water and I think that we will have quite some waves so how about if we change plans and we do not go that way but we go that way then somewhere over there there is Dagelukke. Uh, Dagelukke. And then tomorrow I think that I will go up and the next coming days I will go alongside this um, Langeland, the isle is called, if I am correct. So. And if I drop anchor, then I am already on the leeward side. So the wind comes from that side. So the Langeland Isle is my protection then. At least for the first one, two, three hours of my journey further north. One and a half hour later. Yep. We have the village Dagelukke over there and um, well I think this is a nice spot to drop anchor when you look outside you see that the waves are way bigger normally I would not drop anchor over here but since the windfinder app tells me that the wind will turn fear turn from that side to that side, I know that the waves and the swell will change. So, um, yeah, and it's not that bad. We're talking about 30, 40 centimeters, 50 perhaps. Oh. So I drop anchor with enough chain and she will dance a little. Yeah, this area is 370, as predicted on the chart, 340, 370, I like it, with the trees over there. 
so how much uh, do we have behind I would say 100 meters at the moment it's uh, 350 over here so we have uh, 25 out in the water we are um, on a new spot not over there on uh, thorough as uh, expected and as planned but because of uh, the information I get from the windy app changing the wind yeah we changed course and position and this is not the most ideal situation that is for sure and uh, the benefit is it is four o'clock at the moment so uh, uh, for the for the next coming one two three hours it's daylight and then I can check out if the boat is stable on this position with these winds it will uh, drop and then uh, change direction so We started with uh, 316 liters in the day tank. We are now on 221, 24. Let's say 226, that is easy. So that is um, 90 liters. Yeah in it is four o'clock so now i have to make a calculation i left at 7 30 let's say eight it's 16 now so in uh, eight and a half hours we have used um, 90 liters what you do not know is that i have run my generator for two hours Sometimes you need to um, extra boost the batteries a little bit besides of the sun that uh, is helping a lot today. So, I'm uh, not fond of traveling. <laughs> what are you telling? Yeah, I'm not fond of traveling. I like the arriving, arriving, but to arrive somewhere you have to travel, so clever. I will uh, enjoy the sun a little bit, check out how the anchor will dig in even more and then uh, this is the spot for today. Did you like it? Please let me know by giving the thumbs up and how about this? Do I see you in the next video? All right then, bye bye. Yeah, nice scenery for sure.